السلام عليكم تالت آه، محاضرة Human Rights احنا المرة دي هنشرح الورق اللي أوله بارت 1 introduction اللي هو في بوكس في أول صفحة ده هو بيبتدي ب statement بتاعة فيينا conference on human rights in 1993 بتقول democracy development and respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms are interdependent and mutually reinforcing يعني في علاقة وثيقة جدا ما بين the democracy with development in one hand and the respect for human rights and freedoms in the other hand they are interdependent and they strengthen each other طبعا في فاكت ان in developed countries differ from developing countries in human rights حاجة كلنا شايفينها in developed countries they ask for more human rights في three levels of human rights اول level ده guarantee the basic life for the individual right of drink food mobility حاجات اساسية جدا تاني level اللي هو ايه تاني level بيهتم جدا بال quality of life يبقى ال first level ده بيهتم just the life the basic needs while the second level concerned with the quality of life good health adequate food adequate shelter and so on the right to think, reason, live for others and with others كل ده the developing countries بالعافية بتحقق the first level يعني ما عندهاش uh, uh, human rights بالمعنى الايه ال advanced ده اللي هو في the second level اما the developed countries بتحاول انها تحقق the quality of life بس في حاجة في الـ second level it's very controversial ليه؟ لأن هيجي سؤال يقول uh, طب what's the meaning of adequate uh, life؟ يعني انتوا حددتوا ان لازم يبقى فيه quality طب مين اللي يحدد بقى الـ quality دي والـ criteria اللي, اللي هنحدد بيها؟ مفيش حد بيحدد ممكن دولة تقول الـ, الـ quality دي محددة بكذا وكذا دولة تانية تحدد الكواليتي تقول اه ده الكواليتي دي كويسة جدا وهكذا هيبقى فيها ايه فيها اختلاف so it's very controversial هنا نيجي لحاجة مهمة جدا which is the link between globalizing democracy and human rights يعني ايه protecting human rights should be done in a global way يعني different NGOs and international Associations must be concerned with that, with achieving human rights. Not your state. It's not your state that will be responsible for achieving human rights. لا. نحن عندنا international associations, عندنا NGOs هي اللي بتعمل كل ده. هو ده civil society. ما نرجع بالstate. الstate مش هتحقق هي ال إيه مش هتحقق the democracy ولا هتحقق ال إيه ال human rights. So. Democracy is not restricted to just the internal arena. Instead, it's a global democracy. من هنا جت فكرة the global democracy. لأنها مش democracy مش محصورة بس إنها the state هي اللي هتحققها وهي اللي هتضمنها. لا ده إحنا عندنا civil society هو اللي هيضمننا إيه achieving these human rights and achieving a democracy. يعني human rights. In its universalistic perception, needs applying that global democracy. يعني democracy, development, and respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms are interdependent. يعني في لينك. طيب مين اللي شرح اللينك ده؟ Robert Dahl. Robert Dahl, the American political scientist. L A. Democracy can be the basic value. He says civil liberties and equal rights are necessary for the preservation of democracy. يعني لازم يبقى عندنا equal rights and freedoms. لازم يبقوا موجودين لازم يبقى في civil liberties عشان يبقى في ايه democracy. 
he speaks of fundamental political rights are comprising all the rights necessary to the democratic process نفس برضو ايه نفس المعنى يعني لازم يبقى فيه fundamental political rights that include all the rights and this uh, will be the presupposition for the democratic process قال كمان ايه it's impossible to talk about human rights except we have economic development ما ينفعش زي ما قلنا من شوية ان ما ينفعش نقول ان ان دولة ما عندهاش economic development ونقول that this state is respecting human rights impossible if you are poor you will not pay attention to participate in politics the four people it's it's it, so it's a causal relationship between the economic development and respecting human rights ده كل ده شرح الستيتمنت اللي هي الايه الاول ستيتمنت اللي فوق خالص بتاعه الفينا كونفرنس طيب ايه الايم بتاع البيبر العجيبه اللي معانا دي its aim to show how women's rights and children's rights very linked to each other هنبين ازاي اللينك ما بين ال women's rights وال ال children's rights اول حاجه بتبين اللينك ده the girl child is entitled to all rights in the CDAO CDAO is CDAO ده هو convention on the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women هو ال ايه ال convention on the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women هو ده اللي جواه ال women's rights ماشي ده الكونفنشن اللي بيتكلم عن ال rights of women يبقى اول حاجه بتبين اللينك بتقول ان ال girl child ب... ب... لازم يبقى ليها ليها حقوق اللي موجوده اللي في في السي داو مش بس اللي موجوده في السي ار سي طيب ليه ايه الحكمه ورا ده بيكوز اف ذا جيرل تشايلد از فيود از جاست ا تشايلد ذير از نو جارنتي ذات ات ويل نوت بي فولنربل تو ديسكريمينيشن از ا جيرل يعني لو بس اديناها حقوق الطفل وسكتنا فاحنا مش هنضمن انها تاخد حقها كبنت وانها ما تتعرضش لاي تمييز لانها بنت يعني ما نقدرش تو نجلكت ذا فاكت ذات شي از ا جيرل فلازم يبقى ليها اهليها الحقوق اللي موجوده في السي في السي داو مش بس حقوق الطفل كمان لو ما اديناهاش الحقوق اللي في السي داو شي ويل بي اكسكلودد فروم ديسكشنز اوف وومنز رايتس اند هيومن رايتس مش هنتكلم عنها بقى ولا في وومنز رايتس ولا في هيومن رايتس هتبقى ايه يعني محدوده في السي ار سي لا الجيرل تشايلد لازم يبقى ليها الحقوق اللي في السي داو فكده ده لينك ما بين الايه ما بين ال women's right and the children's rights طيب تاني حاجة ممكن تبين لنا اللينك ده بتقول ايه women's rights enrich, uh, uh, enrich the rights of the children بتأكد جدا عن الايه على ال rights of the children وكمان ال children's rights can help to promote the advancement of women's rights يعني كمان they are a interdependent the concern about gender equality ده ده بالنسبة لي ازاي عايزين نبين ازاي ال children rights can promote the advancement of women's rights لان the concern about gender equality among the children must be the first step toward gender equality among adults لان في ال children rights they emphasize gender equality among the children ودي بنعتبرها first step toward gender gender equality among adults يبقى كده ال children rights ساعدنا ان هو ايه يحقق لنا ال ايه ال women's rights شكرا جدا كمان العكس ان ال women's rights enriched the rights of the children ازاي من خلال زي ما احنا قلنا الجيرل تشايلد ان هو اهتم بالجيرل تشايلد ان الجيرل تشايلد ايه بتتبع حقوقها موجوده في السي داو فكده ال وومنز رايتس انريتش ذا رايتس اوف تشيلدرن مين اللي قدم لنا 
الكونسبت اوف تشيلدرنز رايتس ده اليونيسيف اللي هو منظمة الأمم المتحدة للطفولة introduced the concept of a children's rights in 1989 through the CRC طيب ال 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 CDAO أو ال 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 women's rights Vienna Conference on Human Rights in 1993 assured that women's and girl child rights are part of human rights يعني اليونيسيف قدم لنا ال CRC بعد كده جه ال VN Conference أكد إن إن ال إن ال Women's Rights وال Girl Child Rights Parts of Human Rights must be full and equal must have full and equal participation in all aspects of life and at all levels there must be no discrimination against them يبقى هنا حط لنا الإيه ال women's rights وال girl child في حاجة واحدة ده كل ده امتى؟ ده كل ده بال Vienna Declaration and Platform of Action هو هو نفس ال Declaration اللي هو ال Vienna Declaration in 1993 that assured the relationship between human rights and development in the development process we need to enforce accountability عشان نحقق development لازم يبقى فيه ايه حاجة مهمة جدا هي ال accountability يعني accountability يعني to be fully responsible for what you do طيب how to achieve the, this accountability by identifying حاجتين ال claim holders and the duty bearers ال claim holders with duty bearers claim holders means mainly individuals They have claims against the government or towards the government. And don't claims and them rights. Type the duty bearers, طبعاً by logic, هم I mean mainly the state. غالباً بتبقى the state. As they have or the state has duties toward a people. يبقى عندنا the claim holders or duty bearers. By identifying both, we can achieve accountability, and this this is called rights-based approach. Rights-based approach معناه إن نحنا نحقق development process by accountability. Is by by accountability by identifying claim holders and duty bearers. This rights-based approach examine obligations of the duty bearers. And the claim holders, Obliga obligations of the duty bearers and the rights of the claim holders. Type. To achieve this, we must have strong laws, strong policies, strong institutions, and also benchmarks. Le for measuring this progress and the accountability. Also, achieving this approach requires participation from all people, including women and children. So it's sustainable human development. Let them be participation from all people, women and children. من ضمنهم. يعني رجعنا تاني لنفس النقطة بتاعة ال A بتاعة ال Women's وال Children. طيب. معنا كده. إن إحنا عشان نحقق نحقق ال development لازم يبقى فيه إيه؟ participation from women and children يعني لازم يبقى فيه human rights أه يعني معنى كده إن human rights can be a strategy for development أه مش إحنا قلنا إن إحنا عشان نحقق ال 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 rights based approach ال rights based approach دي اللي هتحقق ال 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 اللي هتحقق لنا development لازم يبقى فيه participation from all people including women and children اه يعني لازم يبقى فيه human rights اه يعني ال human rights دي زي presupposition او it's a strategy for development وفي نفس الوقت زي ما قلنا في الأول خالص we cannot expect 
respecting human rights in non-developing countries. We cannot expect respect, uh, respecting human rights in non-developing, in non-developed uh, non countries. يعني معنى كده in there is a kind of interdependence. In the human rights, ممكن تبقى strategy for development. وكمان إن ما ينفعش نقول إن في human rights في country ما فيهاش development. يعني إيه؟ it's interdependence. They depend on each other. United Nations adopted this approach اللي هو human rights based approach ده in 2003 by the statements of common understanding لو عملتوا كده search على النت هتلاقوا 3 pages pdf هتلاقوا فيه ال statement of common understanding دي موجودة هما 3 points هما موجودين في, ال في الورق في page 2 in bold Uh, وهم نفس 3 points اللي هتلاقوه في البي دي اف لو دورتوا uh, هتلاقوه اول حاجه على طول لو كتبتوا رايتس بيزد ابروتش هتلاقوها على طول uh, هم موجودين في ال في البي دي اف اللي على النت ده موجودين 3 points هم هم بس موجودين ان ديتيل هنا بقى م يعني موجودين مختصر مختصرين شويه بس طيب اليو ان كان هدفها ايه when it adopted the human rights based approach It aimed to mainstream and consider human rights into their activities and programs. All agencies of UN are working on a common understanding of what this means. عشان كده اسمها Statement of Common Understanding. بيبين الحاجات اللي كل متفق عليها عشان ننفذ ال ايه ال human rights based approach ال 3 points بقى that were raised in this statement اول point all programs should further the realization of human rights as mentioned in the universal declaration and other instruments مش universal declaration بس يعني لازم to consider human rights زي ما تقال في universal declaration and other instruments Any point with all human rights standards and the principles should guide all programs in all sectors. لازم نخلي بنا جدا من human rights standards and principles. ولازم يبقوا guide لنا في كل ال programs وكل activities اللي اللي UN هي هتعملها. طيب the principles دي the principles of human rights in general. أول برنسبل هو universality and inalienability يعني إيه universality معناها that everyone everywhere is entitled to these human rights with no discrimination it's universal inalienability means that no one can give up these rights تاني حاجة indivisibility يعني indivisibility means whether these rights, civil rights, cultural, economic, political, social, they are all rights. They are indivisible. The third one, interdependence and interrelatedness, means realization of one right depends on realization of others. هما دول ال principles of human rights in general طيب تالت بوينت في ال ايه في ال في ال statement of common understanding <hesitation> بتقول those programs of development contribute to the development of the capacities of duty bearers and right holders يعني we will strengthen the capacities of duty bearers ليه هنعمل ايه duty bearers to to meet their obligations towards the uh, rights holders عشان يقدروا يوفوا بال obligations بتاعتهم تمام وال وهنساعد كمان في نفس الوقت ال right holders هنساعدهم في ايه هنساعدهم to claim their rights طيب ازاي نحقق ال approach ده اللي هو rights based approach يعني at the operational level برضو ايه ال principles 
follow from rights based approach specifically we can implement through ثلاث حاجات اول حاجه equality and non discrimination يعني all people must be equal in rights تاني حاجه participation and inclusion خاصه uh, the vulnerable groups اللي هم منهم ال women وال children تالت حاجه لازم يبقى في accountability and rule of law يعني there must be mechanisms to enforce the duty bearers obligation to meet the claims of right holders طيب ايه بقى ال advantages of applying this approach this approach can ensure that development programming will be more sustainable more legitimate more equitable and more effective كمان في examples كتيرة in UN adopted this uh, uh, rights based approach many documents incorporate human rights in development they considered human rights and adopted this approach الأهم هو UNICEF UNICEF documents that incorporated women's and children rights not just the children rights in UNICEF المفروض ان هو يهتم بال children rights اكتر حاجة لا هو كمان incorporated women's rights beside children rights and that shows us that realization of women's rights women's human rights is central central to the programming for children هنا بقى هما realize the connection between human right between women's rights and the children's rights هو انا كده خلصت اللي شرح بيج 1 و 2 لان هما دول اللي الدكتور شرحتهم ما شرحتش باقي الشيت خالص يعني و بيج 3 انا قلتها كده سريعا يعني أه هو غالبا اللي هي مش بتشرحه مش مش بيجي زي ما شفنا في الترم بس احنا لما بنسالها بتقول لا هو هو هيجي او او مش بتقول هو هيجي بتقول يعني ما تعتمدوش ان انتوا ما تذاكروش الحاجات اللي انا مش بشرحها عشان احنا مش صغيرين يعني ده اللوجيك أه بس احنا عارفين ان ان شاء الله يعني مش مش هيجي بره بره الشرح بس وما فيش وقت فقلنا نركز بقى على الحاجات اللي اتشرحت الاول فاضل لنا جزء بتاع السامينج اب تو سام اب احنا عندنا تو بوينتس اتكلمنا فيهم تو مين بوينتس اول بوينت هي ذا لينك بتوين هيومن رايتس اند ديفلوبمنت وقلنا ذي ار انتريليتد وقلنا اللينك بتوين جلوبلايزنج ديموكراسي اند هيومن رايتس فكره الجلوبلايزنج ديموكراسي ديموكراسي از نو لونجر ريستريكتد تو ذا انترنال ارينا NGOs can help to protect human rights. And then Robert Dahl, it talks about the link between development and human rights. L E L in political rights, comprising all the rights necessary for development. L Kamen, it's impossible to talk about democracy except we have economic development or degree of economic development. Uh, اتكلمنا عن human rights as strategy for development يعني ممكن نستخدم ال human rights عشان نحقق بيها development ده يحصل through rights based approach that defines uh, duty bearers and claim holders this approach will strengthen accountability accountability that will help in achieving the development Human rights and sustainable human development are interdependent and interrelated. زي ما شفنا in 2003 UN endorsed a common understanding of human rights based approach to development cooperation. هو اسمه كده. اتكلم في three points. قلنا three points خلاص. واتكلمنا عن the principles. at the operational level to achieve these points اتكلمنا بعد كده عن the practical advantage of this uh, of this approach 
اللي هو Human Rights Based Approach اللي UN Based its statement upon it كمان قلنا بعد كده United Nations took into consideration this approach اللي هو Human Rights Based Approach in its documents incorporated human rights in development قالت ان احنا هنعتمد على human rights كطريقة للايه للديفلوبمنت وقلنا كمان بعد كده اتكلمنا عن the second main point اللي هي the link between women's rights and children's rights قلنا اول حاجة the girl child is entitled to all rights in the CDAO دي اول حاجة بتبين اللينك ما بين ال women's rights وال children's rights تاني حاجة women rights enrich rights of the children and rights of the children enrich uh, uh, women rights لي because efforts to combat, uh, to combat discrimination must begin with childhood عشان كده لما بنهتم بال children rights ده بيخلينا نهتم بال women's rights لما ب... لما بنمنع discrimination في الليفل بتاع ال childhood بعد كده among adults بنقدر نمنعه قلنا كمان اتكلمنا عن ال فيينا conference in 1993 that tackled rights ال conference ده مهم جدا لان هو tackled rights of different vulnerable groups such as women and children وال minorities ده مغ... ليه؟ لأن يختلف عن الإيه؟ عن الـ Universal Declaration اللي اتكلم إن كله equal وما اتكلمش عن إيه؟ عن certain groups. جه الـ Vienna Conference اتكلم عن الجروبس دول. في الآخر عايزين نقول إيه اللينك بين the two main points اللي اتكلمنا فيهم. إحنا اتكلمنا عن الـ point اللي هي the link between human rights and development واتكلمنا عن الـ point التانية اللي هي the link between women rights and children rights. اللينك أول حاجة إن the women's rights and children rights the part of human rights زي ما جاء الفينا الفينا conference قال صح طيب كمان those rights are very important and participation يعني participation of women and children very important in achieving rights based approach عشان نحقق ال rights based approach لازم مش لازم يبقى فيه participation from all people including women and children مش هو ده اللي بيكون فيه rights rights based approach ودي دي strategy دي عبارة عن ال participation of those groups تعتبر جزء من ال strategy باستخدام ال human rights strategy for a for the development يعني ال rights based approach the strategy عشان نحقق بيها ال development و ال women rights و ال children rights دول جزء من ال strategy دي اللي نحقق بيها ال development ف ال two main points are related بس انا كده خلصت المرة الجاية ان شاء الله غالبا هشرح ال cultural relativism بس السلام عليكم